Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Bjorn Home, where today we're going to be doing a barley harvest, so I'm just going to change my... There we go. Uh, I'm going to be doing something different as well, so I'm going to have the harvester doing its thing with course play. And because I have enough space, essentially, I am going to be manually driving the tractor. I for I didn't. Hurrah. You'll notice that I'm not laying down straw. I don't want to be trying to bring the John Deere over here just to break, pick up the straw. And, well, the cows are profitable, so... Having the straw doesn't really make much of a difference. Now you can see we've got 12% of the harvester filled. And what I'm actually going to do is... I am going to um, take one of the plows and actually just get it into position so that when the harvest is done, as soon as the harvest is done, course play can take over and do the plowing just to speed things up a bit. Now, yesterday I believe it was, I got another suggestion for a rule for the next season and I've only got three rules at the moment so guys come on give me rules give me good rules and the third rule I'll go through all the rules that I have at the moment uh, one of them was was is my idea and that is that the headers have to be on grain trailers if they're more than um, oh what is the smallest one because I'm, I'm gonna use the sand plows at, at yeah if they're more than 4.2 meters wide they have to be on a grain trailer. Or a header trailer. That doesn't apply to corn headers because they can be folded. Um, Malgo Bay said I have to carry the harvest around with a low boy. I'm going to do that. That's going to be a rule for the next season. And the Frozen Gamer said I'm not allowed to use tab. I'm not allowed to do this. Which. Honestly, I'm kind of okay with. It's an added challenge. Um, so the next season, I will set up a map so that I don't have to tab. And, well, I'll... This will be the next season that replaces Bjorn Home. Um, I may do a second series where I have no rules whatsoever. And can do what I like, basically. But the Bjorn Home replacement will have these rules in place. Uh, so I'll have to have some form of method of getting around other than tractors. So I'll probably have a thing, a pickup, or a car of some description. I might pick up a car mod because I think the pickup's a bit big, honestly. Um, but I'll also have to get a bigger low boy so that if I get the biggest tra uh, harvesters that I can actually move them. I've, I've done some testing. The biggest harvesters won't fit on the low boy that comes at the game. Now, what I'm hoping to do from this harvest is I am hoping to get the money together that I can get a log trader. Now, I know I could, in theory, use the Brantner log trader that I have. And that is potentially an idea. But what I'm, I'm going to try and do is get the in-game log trader that has a crane on it. Because oh, I don't want to be cutting up small logs to... Um, uh, well, number one, it would take ages. And number two, I'd have to get a shovel just to pick up the damn logs. So that's kind of problematic. Um, I must look up a specific mod that I want that I know exists but I don't have a link to it at the moment I haven't looked up the link yet um, I'll be getting that so that wood chips actually become an option right now they're not because well the in-game wood chipper is broken um, giants seem intent on breaking things and <laughs> farming signature 15 so you can see why I'm using just the one trailer today and really it's because I only need the one trailer 
<laughs> There's no point in having multiple trailers if I can do an entire field with one. So, I think the harvest is far enough ahead now that I can start up field 24 getting ploughed. And, no I can't because the start point's at the wrong side of the field. Uh, also, you can tell I've done a course play tutorial recently because I've got everything set to on. Uh, I just want the start end. <laughs> so, that's a bit of a problem. Um, apparently I, w I wasn't thinking ahead when I set up the courses, so I may reset the course. Um, Though at the moment I'm kind of happy with the way it's running because I'll be on a different field by the time we get to course play anyway. I'm going to do tw field 29 next, we're going to harvest that next. And uh, if we can get a wood trailer going, or a log trailer, um, we can start forestry. Now you've spotted there's a decent amount of fir trees around here now. They're good for the... Um, the scorpion king but we're not allowed to get that we're not allowed to get the scorpion king this series um, one rule that I will reject for the next season if anybody suggests it is no scorpion king because I do want to do all out forestry at some point um, not all out but I want to do it properly with the big equipment so that's going to be a thing that I'll be doing um, what else is there to say? Um, I'm going to get a wood chipper, a big one, because I want to deforest as much of this map as I can, and some of the trees, just the, I think they're birches over here. They're not birches, they're maples. These maples, yes, they're okay, but. Oh my god, it's, it'd be so much easier to just chop them all up. The birches most definitely need to be chopped. The furs I might um, do properly and put them onto the log trailer because I can measure them with the log trailer. Uh, gonna have to reverse because otherwise it's problematic. I'm gonna try to do a bit more in cab as well because I do have mirrors, they are a thing. And uh, my Xbox controller has inexplicably decided to work again. For some reason. So I can do it, use it. So I'm gonna just put it alongside the TC5 and completely miss it. Um, it's going to be able to finish the field like this, I believe. So, one thing I've, I forgot to say is the cows are, in fact, Oh, I didn't. I did say it. The cows are profitable. Um, we're still in debt. We're still in quite a lot of debt. But I think once we start forestry up, that should not be an issue. Um, how good are the cows on food? Might as well check that while I'm down here. Uh, da, 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 they could do with some grass. So, it looks like at the end of this episode I will be once again cutting grass for hay. And possibly silage. I may do a full round um, of growth with no crops just to get grass and silage done in one go. But, obviously, um, the joy of the bale extension mod, which I do have, is that I can't just bale grass and say, hey, I'm done. I have to bale hay, because, well, the grass will rot. There's a part of me thinking of getting the far silo thing. Uh, there's a, a silage silo editing mod that makes it so that um, you pretty much have to compact it 100% else you'll just get rot in the silage which 
as you can guess, isn't a particularly good thing because the cows won't eat it. It's just useless. You can't even sell rot. So, uh, that's kind of a good thing, I guess. Is the... Oh, that's the T6. <laughs> Why is the T6? The, the, the TC5 only at 40%. No, that was the T6 I was looking at. Um, I'm going to have to do outside of the cab or here. Just so that I can catch up with the TC5 and lock it at the end of this row. If I need to. I may need to. No, I can, I can just flip around. Yeah, I'll be good. I have in fact blocked to the end of the row anyway, which is kind of a good thing. Because now it'll be empty and I can just set it straight off in field 29 uh, while I set up the other T6 to do field 24. And you can kind of see why I got these Marshall trailers now. They are huge. And they're so low that they can empty every combine in the game, including the Samplo. The Sample. I keep calling it the Samplo. It's the Sample Rosenley. Um, so once we get field 24 on here, we're going to be moving on to field 29. And we still have a TC, or T6 left over. What are we going to be doing with the third T6? Well, that's just going to sit there for the time being. And... The aim of that one, the job of that one, is going to be fertilizing when the time comes. Because, well, fertilizing is the quickest thing that I can be done. Um, seeding is going to be a task. <laughs> is going to be done eventually. Um, oh, one thing I'm going to get before I get the, the log trailer, and I kind of decided this off screen, I'm going to get the in-game fuel Bowser, because oh my god it takes so long it takes so much time and effort just to get some fuel into these things that I think getting a fuel tank um, on the farm might be worth well it is worth the investment um, so I'm just gonna move the TC5 down to fuel train and I'm not gonna go working our way up at least that's the idea Probably not gonna work out. But that's the idea. That is the wrong course. This one which starts down over here. And conveniently it doesn't overlap with the course I want to do with the other T6. So let's just start up the harvester. And trust me, if you have an Xbox controller and you're trying to use course play while driving combine not the most fun I'd, not the most fun thing in the world um, <laughs> because you have to have your hand in a really weird way it's completely unnatural so we're gonna get the plowing started off here as well because I don't see the point of having fields pretty much ready to go but not really ready to go don't have it set on that it's the one I want I use that for the fertilizing horseplay tutorial you saw on Thursday. And we're going to be going back to unloading the combine in a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to empty out this track bed trailer first and start saving up the barley. Now, the third T6, I haven't forgotten about it. I'm going to be using that for fertilizing. I've already said I have it. Um, John Deere is just going to stay down at the cows for a while. When I get moving on the grass and stuff, the John Deere will be used. Um, and I'm going to speed things up by actually using one of the T6s to mow the grass because I, I can. I think. Just going to check horsepower. That's, uh, well, the 160, and for the idea I have, I need 70 plus 90, which is 160. I might be able to do this. <laughs> um, hmm. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out the third T6. 
and I'm going to have to test this idea because I have honestly no idea if it's going to work. So the third T6 is going to be on the move now and it's going to make two stops. The first stop is going to be get to get the rear mower which if I come down this road over here to the left I can get to quite easily. Um, I'm starting to learn the map if you haven't guessed. Uh, starting to learn it not quite there yet but uh, the first mower is down in a shed down this way. The it's the rear mower that offset one, which I've been using to cut all of the grass down here before. And what I'm also going to pick up is the front mower that I have up by the sheep. So I'm actually going the wrong way to start off because actually no, it's easier to go get the one by the sheep first, isn't it? So in fact I was going. Uh, what I've done now is I've done goofed and I'm going the wrong way, essentially. Um, I'm, I'm going to just go get the front mower first and come back to get the rear mower. And then just unfold, well, set them up so they're both raised. And see what happens when I turn both of them on. <laughs> because I've got a sneaking suspicion this idea might not pay off. Um, I've got a sneaking suspicion that if I try this, I'll end up with two mowers running, but a tractor that can't move. Because the horsepower requirement matches exactly the T6. Um, the nice thing about the new ones is they do tell you their horsepower in the name. Like, this is a T6 160. So it's a T6 model with 160 horsepower. And yes, part of my fun on this map is just running over everything. Uh, this way is good enough. Nothing for me to run over here, so I actually drive normally. There's a pickup parked outside that storage area. That's not my pickup. You can tell that because it's not red. Um, I like red pickups. I like red vehicles. Which is funny because I actually like New Holland, tra New Holland tractors and John Deere tractors, but I like red everything else. Um, whee! I was wondering what would happen if I did that. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see what happened if I tried to force a pit maneuver from one of the um, AI vehicles. And if you don't know what a pit maneuver is, it's when you <coughs> just hit the rear corner of a car, or in my case, a tractor, and um, you cause them to spin. So I'm going to pick up the front mower here, and, oh dear, that's kind of a lot faster than I had expected. Um, that's going to be problematic. I'm going to have to switch over to the trailer T6 now. Yeah, that was going to be problematic because I have no way of moving it right now. <coughs> um, I'm going to have to get a pallet fork sharpish. So, that's going to be problems as well. So now that i got the front mower, it will work. Okay. I'm going to just turn around and go this way. This is the correct way, hopefully. And I'm going to go get the rear mower. And hopefully by the end of the episode we'll know the answer to my question, which is... Uh, what happens if I try this? And I think just for speed's sake we're gonna go across country here. Because the front mower is parked up by field 28. Or the rear mower is parked up by field 28. And yet, saw that coming. The TC5 has decided to move and is now stuck in front of one of the, the trailer T6. So let's just move this out of the way. That's far enough out of the way, I think. So, we're going to be going... Oh, we can't. This is a big forest in the way. We're going to be going as cross-country as we can without bashing into the forest. Um, I won't end the episode until we have an answer to my question. Because I know we're running up just about to hit 20 minutes now. 
Um, so, yes. I want an answer to the question because I haven't actually tested this. Uh, which is a bit unusual because I do like testing random pointless things like this. I will also have to refuel all my tractors again. And that's the close that's one of the two closest fuel points to the farm, which is kind of why I want to um, get a fuel trailer on the move. If I can get a fuel trailer I can just park it up in the middle of the yard and um, all of the problems will be gone. Which would be nice. So I'm going to ignore the TC5 for now. I'll get to it off screen in between this and the next episode. Um, the next episode hopefully will be doing some mowing. And I'll be showing off my mad track driving skills. Because I won't, I won't actually have to go on the road, I believe. No, I won't. That is somewhat convenient. So, let's pick up the rear mower. Which conveniently is unfolded already because it's the easiest way for it to sit nicely. And let's just grab that, raise it up. And try and get it out of here without crashing. Okay, we're gonna fold it up and unfold it. And here comes the moment of truth. Front mower runs, rear mower runs, and the tractor runs. Beautiful. Oh, that is such a relief because now I can get the mowing done twice as quickly. Um, we'll be moving the John Deere to get this the uh, wind rowing and heading done a bit quicker. But uh, yeah, off screen I'm gonna finish up field 29 here and. I was going to get the second T6 to do this, actually, but if I can get the mowing done, well, I'll be spending a lot longer on the mowing than I would on the ploughing anyway, so I figure it makes sense to get the mowing sorted out as well. I'm still toying with the idea of joining the fields. Um, honestly still toying with the, that idea, but... I don't think it's a good one right now. Um, I do actually like the fact that I have to plough the fields because if and when the soil mod comes out for 2015, I will most likely be getting it and struggling massively to get any sort of yield out of fields. Um, I know I did in 2013, but that might be because I'm completely incompetent. Um, the joy of soil mod is it just makes the game that bit harder and um, necessitates you doing things you normally wouldn't, like ploughing. Because I know most people don't plough their fields in the game, they just cultivate or do direct seed and be done with it. And you very nearly get the, got the entire field there, TC5, well done. So I'm going to end the episode right here and um, set up things off screen for the next one. Uh, gonna do field 25 next because why not uh, and I'm going to end the episode by saying I've been Rainbow Dave, you've been watching Farming Simulator 15 on Bjorn Home please comment like, subscribe, give me rules for the next series guys, please I want more than three I want it to be a challenge not just oh well I have to walk to the truck uh, so that I can pick up the things. Uh, what field is this? 25. 5.3 southwest north. Awesome. Um, but yes, please give me rules. Give me suggestions for rules. Give me recommendations for mods. I would like some, some mods, and I haven't been finding all that many ones that have caught my eye. Um, Russian mods I'm not probably not going to use because I've had problems with them in the past. Uh, they've had a tendency to crash the game if I reset them, which I probably wouldn't in this save game anyway. Um, I may get a couple of mods that I was planning on not getting. Hmm. I've just remembered the no reset rule in this save. Um, 
I am going to leave right here, so thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.